I don't know how many years it's been since that bell has rung last, but there we go. I think that's really cool. Fourth day of bone, and Mine Lab is here today. Pulling out all the stops. Ready for another day? Oh, yeah, Almost you. Today's your lucky one. Yep. Can't do any worse than yesterday. No. no. <laughs> well, I could, I guess. <laughs> we are already registered. We are at the Sawyer farm. I didn't film the last couple days because the weather's just, I mean, it was been sunny, but the wind has been furious up here. First day it rained sideways. It was so bad. Well, I said to my kids, somewhere between 50 and, and 70. Handing out mine lab goodies. Then the raffle table. I was in Bed Stuy, Brownsville, Crown Heights. So you stayed in Brooklyn the whole time? Yeah, I was in Brooklyn the whole time. This is a Sawyer farm in Jaffrey, New Hampshire, so we get to hunt all these fields. Yesterday they opened up a new one. Got some history here. A lot of stuff's come out of here. I haven't been doing very well, but we'll uh, recap everything. This is an active dairy farm still. I don't know how many acres are here. I forgot. I will put it in the, uh, I'll just put a caption in there. Another shot of one of the other fields. All really nice old stone walls that surround this place. I don't know if you can see it in the distance. I wonder if I can zoom in here. Beautiful view from up there. Over that far knoll right there, there's another field. There's a road just beyond that. There's a, yet another field. And then we drove to another field yesterday, which produced actually quite a bit of stuff, but I didn't find anything. So it wasn't my day. Really? What the? See how deep that was? Much calmer day today. I, uh, I didn't do so well yesterday. But uh, today, first target. Shoe buckle frame. That is sweet. I'm down in the woods. 
I don't think anybody's been in here. Thought I'd take a shot. Everybody else went to another field today. Uh, thought I'd try something different. Glad I did. Awesome. Looks like a 22 lead. Another shotgun shell. Cool things you find out detecting. Someone spent some time and built that. Hey, I'm back home after the Big Bone 29 hunt week-long event. Jaffrey, New Hampshire, sponsored by Streeters. Uh, I think I said that already in some of my other stuff. I gotta say, the first day was absolute, the weather was terrible. And I didn't even get my camera out of the truck, it was so bad. The wind was blowing at least 20 to 40 miles an hour. It rained all day, nothing but mud everywhere. I mean, everything I touched just had mud and dirt on it, so. So I didn't even get the camera out of the bag that day. And then as the week progressed, I tried filming. The wind was bad every day, screwed up the audio on everything. Uh, I didn't find a whole lot from uh, after the first day. So there really wasn't a whole lot to film. I finally quit even carrying the camera around because I just wasn't getting anything. But I had a great time, and we're going to do a quick wrap-up of what I did find, and, uh, and that's it. It was, uh, it was fun. I met uh, Gypsy for the first time. Gypsy's channel is uh, Zero Discrimination on YouTube, and she also does a, a podcast every Monday night at 8 o'clock with uh, Amanda DeGaz. I've met Amanda before. She's awesome, really nice girl really knowledgeable about relics and finds and stuff. Those two are just top-notch people. Before I show you the stuff we that I found, uh, I put together a little relic bingo game for Gypsy and Amanda and Laura, and uh, Laura was there. I don't know what Laura's last name is. She's like New Hampshire digger or something, digger girl. Anyway, uh, I put to together a little relic bingo game and Amanda, Gypsy, and Brad played. And the whole purpose of that was to start filling in your bingo card with relics. And if you didn't get a bingo, you picked a chip. And if the chip number, you know, like B5 corresponded to a relic that you'd found in that position, then you'd win a, you'd, you'd get a chance to scratch off a $5 lottery ticket, New Hampshire lottery scratch ticket, which I thought was, you know, it gave you a chance to win a little cash or whatever. It's a little more fun than just giving them a pen or a pencil or something, you know. Uh, so if you did get a bingo, you, I, I bought some uh, $20 tickets. And Brad and, and Gypsy ended up getting a, uh, a bingo. So they both were able to scratch a $20 ticket. Gypsy won 30 bucks, And Brad, that son of a gun, he won. Brad from Green Mountain Metal Detect. And he won $200 on his ticket. I was so happy for him. So that was just a fun thing to do and I look forward to doing it again next year. So uh, here we go. Here's what I found during the week this week and we'll wrap this thing up. All right, here we go with the wrap up from Bone 29, sponsored by Streeters Treasure Hunting Supply Store in Marlboro, New Hampshire. And also, I think he has uh, the Professional Treasure Hunters Historical Society uh, that, um, that he does too. So, let's, uh, let's just give a quick rundown. Everything from a couple of musket balls to a hook. This is a, one of my favorite finds is a trigger guard. 
uh, buckles, this bell, another favorite find. I love finding bells. Uh, shoe buckle that I found. That was probably the only find of the day that day, and and that was a uh, that was a find I found on the third swing. So it jinxed me for the whole day. It uh, it has some fancy on it. It's kind of a nice uh, nice little buckle. Uh, a whole pocket knife and the really nasty pocket knife buttons buttons everywhere most of these I found on the first day my uh, my last find of the last day was this right here it's a pocket watch cover or back in the bezel uh, this one right here is an Indian head although you'd never know it um, and the rest are just stinking Lincoln's yeah, a spoon obviously but that's it I mean now that I put it all together it was I guess a pretty good uh, pretty good week there was a lot of stuff found so hey can't complain loving every minute of it oh I can't actually forget I put a couple extra items out here because they were in the other side of my thing uh, I did find a large scent. Uh, it's a left-facing bust, bust. I don't really know. I haven't really... i got to clean that up, try to clean that up a little more to find a date on it. And then this thing, I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to have to do a little more research on that, try to clean it up a little more. But you can tell by the size difference of the large scent how much bigger it is. I, uh, I don't have any idea what that thing is, so uh, I threw this buckle out there that wasn't there. That there's a couple more buttons in there, and then another uh, wheat wheat scent. But that was a good find. That was first day find. That was for most of this was first day find. I didn't really do very well after the first day, so never could get my coil over anything. Anyway, there we go. Can't, can't forget to mention the trash. This isn't all mine, but I contributed to that pail. Most of that was from uh, Amanda and Gypsy. She had a whole bucket, and I just told her to dump it in mine, and I'll take care of it. If you like old iron relic-y stuff, have I got a deal for you.